the growth of life, looking for happiness. And for a lot of people, it seems to be pretty random. They do good things and they suffer, they do bad things and they prosper. And then they do good things and prosper and do bad things and suffer. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. And some people like it that way. They, they like to have it a mystery, they say. But the Buddha said there is a pattern. And because there is a pattern, we don't lose our minds. There was that experiment they did with pigeons one time. Put some pigeons in a cage where if they pressed the right hand button they would get food, and if they pressed the left hand button they wouldn't get any food. And they were very well adjusted pigeons. They knew what they had to do when they were hungry. In another cage the pigeons were presented with two buttons. But sometimes they pressed the left hand button and got food, and sometimes they didn't. Sometimes they pressed the right hand button and got food, and sometimes they didn't. They became very neurotic. So the fact that we have a path here that the Buddha has found and laid out to show that there is a pattern to our happiness. You do skillful things that are based on a lack of greed, a lack of aversion, a lack of delusion. The results are going to be good. They may not be good in the short term, but they will be good in the long term. And that's why you've got to, on the one hand, have some conviction in the Buddhist teachings, and two, be very observant. Because as I said, you don't simply follow his teachings, you follow his teachings and you reflect on them to make your thoughts more skillful so your actions will be more skillful and the results will be more in line with what you want. But as you get a hold of the pattern, get a sense of the pattern, things begin to make sense. Then you can be confident that what you do is going to lead to happiness. And just that confidence in and of itself is a source of happiness as well. If it were all very mysterious, depending on the moods of some creator god or, or just random, random events, we'd be pretty crazy. And you look at the world, and it is pretty crazy, the way that people look for happiness in such unskillful ways. So now we found a path. Let's hold to it, and we'll find that our search for happiness really will lead to the kind of happiness we want. In fact, it will lead to a happiness greater than we can even imagine. So make sure that the causes are right and the results will take care of themselves.